Okay, it's a VAC V200E electromagnetic positioner. Just going to remove the cover here and expose the inner workings. Turn it around so we can see easier. I'm going to remove this visual indicator real quick. Okay, you remove that visual indicator just kind of by wiggling it up and down. It's just got a little circlip on there. Just provides tension. Right now what we're going to remove and inspect is the pilot valve. Okay, it's just one screw holding it in, one bolt, and then the actual rod of the pilot valve, this brass thing here, attaches onto the reed, the metal reed right here, and it's just slotted, so be careful when you do that. Okay, I removed the screw here, it stays in there, and I'm just going to grab it and kind of wiggle this thing up, taking care not to bend that rod. Should come out fairly easily. There we go. And a lot of times this rod in the spool valve will get gunked up. So you can remove it and clean it with like a non-residue cleaner. But it should go back and forth pretty easy. Test the function. You just hold it horizontal and start tilting it one direction. At about 20 degrees it will start slipping out on its own weight just like that. That way you know it's um, free of debris and operational. Okay, going back for reinstall, I just want to make sure that I have it lined up appropriately. The one air port should be facing the actual pneumatic ports. There's four O-rings on the bottom here. And I want my slotted end of that rod up or toward that metal reed that it came off. And then I'm going to slide it on there and tighten down the screw. Once attached, just snug down the screw. Pretty decent and you should be good to go.